What's up, y'all? I'm back with another video. Today's a vlog, and yeah, I'm gonna go get my nails done. It's New Year's Eve, and literally, I feel like the nail shop is about to be fucking ridiculous. So I hope not. So, anyways, um, yeah, I'm about to take down my hair, and then we gonna get there. So let's go. So yeah, I got some flexi rides in there because I went and got my hair curl yesterday. So I'm hoping that they're gonna look right because I'm really not the, the artist of flexi rides, but I try. Okay, not too bad. Okay. okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So look, are you supposed to um? Take the curl, like, am I supposed to brush through it immediately or just leave the curl like that? Because I always brush through immediately. Dang, I didn't get the bottom of this one. It's cool, though. Oh. Let me tell you what happened. That just reminded me. It gave me PTSD. So, oh, yeah, that look. Girl, stop fucking playing with me. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, um, why the heck... Like a couple of, I was saying last time I had a sew in, so probably like a month ago, I was uh, taking my flexi rise out and I was sitting in the bed and I was just pulling them out. Like, that's what I normally do is just pull them out. Why did my hand get caught <clears throat> like underneath the flexi rod? Like, right here is like it's metal stuff, like okay, like this one jacked up, it's metal stuff right there. Why did my finger get caught in this and it was like inside of my finger and I could not fucking get it out of my finger? I was sitting there just yelling for like two minutes. I was sitting there yelling for like two whole minutes because I was so upset because I had a flexi rod sticking in my finger. Like, are you for real? So yeah, that's why I'm being very cautious about taking these out because I don't want no problems. <sighs> so uh, yeah, but I'll get our nails done and we gotta go pick all of the um and then come back and start work yep all these tighter on this side what i do that was different these look real good on this side maybe because i used the smaller size i might have to go get some little ones <clears throat> because these is giving what it's supposed to get <sighs> y'all see the difference i'm tripping they still cute though they all gonna fall so it's fine um but I definitely want to get some smaller ones because that is, that's a look. Oh my God. Yeah, these is more like the fine. All right, y'all. It's cloudy out, but I got my, I got my glasses on just in case a bitch want to throw some shade. No, <laughs> I play too much, but no, I'm, I'm uh, here at the nail shop and yeah, I think I'm going back with my short black. Like that's my vibe. I love black anyway. And yeah, it's just so cute to me. Call me whatever you want. You're welcome. Call me whatever you want. All right, y'all. So after about 40 minutes of waiting, I find me back here and I'm about to start getting these things soaked off. The ladies just said I don't need to get them soaked off, but I feel like you're about to pop my fucking nails off. Mm -mm. And then my fucking nails. You know what? I said I'm work on Christmas. Let me shut up. But yeah. It's the first day of the year. I can't believe this shit. Um, last night for New Year's, y'all, I didn't do anything. I literally sat in the house. Oh, I literally sat in the house because I got bigger goals. Like, I feel like not, I wasn't missing nothing outside, to be honest. So it's like, girl, why, why would I go out there? Like, I stay in a really, like, safe neighborhood now. So I don't have to worry about, like, so many people, like, shooting and stuff. So, yeah, like, I stayed my black ass at home. Plus, I was tired, y'all. I had a lot of clients last night, so I was real tired, and I just wanted to relax and just enjoy, like, time with my baby and, you know, my boo. So, I just stayed in the house, and I'm, I'm happy I did, because let's get to this bag. <laughs> so, if you're wondering, now we on our way to Chipotle. So, um, yeah. Gonna go there. I want to try that quesadilla. Oh, y'all, this is ghetto. How I got this rigged up here, but hopefully it worked. But yeah, I want to try that new quesadilla. Y'all, if y'all be on TikTok, y'all know who Keith is. 
anything Keith say, I'm gonna do it, period. So, <laughs> um, he tried the quesadilla, somebody else tried it, and then he tried it, and it's the quesadilla with the veggies and the extra cheese, and then you get a vinaigrette with the sour cream on the side. So, I want that, and then I want some rice because I always eat that rice, I can eat that rice by itself, and then I'm gonna just order day stuff or whatever, and yeah that's gonna be it but i'm i was thirsty to try that and um i told myself i was going to go try it right and my little sister called me this morning like yeah i just left chipotle i'm like they open it's y'all's new year's i'm thinking everything closed like how how i be on christmas but that's not even the case everything ain't even closed so i don't know but i'm happy and i'm about to go up here the last time i went to chipotle the last two times I went to Chipotle, I was disappointed. So I'm just hoping that they got their stuff together today. Ain't nobody really out either. Like the streets is clear because everybody at home chilling. It's New Year's. I still can't believe it's 2023. Like what the hell? That year, 2022 went past way too fast. Like I seen the TikTok, it was like, uh, what did it say? It was like, um, uh, something like, let me think, because my brain was moving faster than my mouth. It was saying something like the gorilla, the gorilla glue girl, that was in February 2022. Bruh, why do that seem like that was in like 2020? Like, that seemed like it was real long ago. You telling me that shit just happened this year? Like, what? But this year just, like, well, last year, I mean, yeah, last year. Sorry, it's 2023. <laughs> it's gonna take me a couple days to adjust but last year honestly y'all last year was like a year like it was just a year like it was one of those years you know every couple of years you have a hard real like hard year and like me per se like personally in my own life i don't think that it was like a terrible year but i i think that i've had better years but i'm grateful you know what i'm saying I'm grateful and and I see that it's like it's the people around me had some messed up years you know what I'm saying like literally like people around me went through some stuff like people was leaving this earth like like people was out of here and that shit was crazy so I'm I'm manifesting and speaking life into into this new year okay yes my son come home today i'm happy <laughs> but i'm manifesting and speaking life into this new year because yeah like i don't want no negative shit going on like i don't want no negative vibes i don't want no like people leaving us unexpectedly like no tragic shit like just hopefully this year is going to be a great year like and to be honest i feel it in my spirit that this is going to be a year of like like this gonna be a year like this is about to be a mother freaking year y'all see how i said freaking instead of yeah i'm working on it i told y'all i'm working on it but i don't know y'all i'm just in a whole different mind space and like i woke up this morning i told y'all i said i'm gonna start getting dressed i didn't do my makeup but i still put on something cute like you know i didn't just throw on like some sweats and a t-shirt and walk outside we're not doing that any longer this is not going on like i'm going to stick to what i say so you know and be a woman of my word so yeah y'all i will see y'all when we get to chipotle all right i'm in chipotle but i'm not about to be talking to my phone because i just feel like i hate when people be looking at me and i'm talking to my phone <laughs> so yeah <laughs> All right, y'all, the bag's secured, kind of, because why they ain't had no vinaigrette? I don't even eat vinaigrette with my, with my Chipotle, but they said you got to mix the vinaigrette with the with the sour cream. How do y'all have it the one day I actually want to, like, try the shit? So, this sounds fat, but I don't care because I'm about to be in the house all day. I'm about to grab me something else. I'm about to grab me something else. And I don't know if y'all like the Bellas, but I love the Bellas. I love the Bellas. So I'm about to grab me a little Godfather. A little Godfather. And um, yeah. So I can have that because that little quesadilla ain't gonna do nothing. But play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Spend all day. Don't 
Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Yup. Getting my stuff. I'm about to get both of us a little seven inch because he gonna be looking at me like, did you really go to two places? Yes, I did. Okay, other bag secured. I don't care, I don't care. <laughs> I do not care. One thing about me, I'm a motherfucker eat, okay? So we gonna try this little quesadilla when we get back, but I ain't gonna lie, once I show it to y'all, it just looks so petty, like, girl. I feel like I forgot something too. I think I forgot the veggies because they don't let you customize. They don't let you customize your um. They don't let you customize it or whatever. Like your quesadilla, you have to order it online and they don't let you customize it. That's real corny. So got the food. Now I need to go to the gas station and get some snacks. Gas stations for snacks and um other things <laughs> but yeah Ooh. it was so funny because somebody else in chipotle was in there and she was trying the steak quesadilla with the with the, she was trying the same thing that i wanted to try she was trying but then they gonna say we ain't got no vinaigrette i'm like girl i'm like you trying the steak because i mean i ain't even gonna lie to y'all how many times do y'all really walk in chipotle and see people ordering the steak quesadilla like there's a trend going on so that's why people are in there ordering like that dang they closed the lazy boy down have y'all ever even bought something from lazy boy because i have never bought anything from lazy boy like i remember people talking about like they um what was it they uh brain fart they uh they recliner chairs like back in the day but girl i never even thought to even stop in that store okay so i don't remember if i told y'all or not because it just came to me just now that i had a part-time job at Ulta. i feel like i might have said it in one of my videos but i had a part-time job in Ulta. i started in like november and um y'all i just it was not it was just not for me the experience like actually working there was not bad other than the fact that they was like super unorganized like um i had told my, my my manager or whatever that i wanted to work like certain days like i have that taste testing job that i do at nestle in the mornings on on monday too i mean on tuesday wednesday and thursday so on those days i don't really want to be gone from my house for 10 12 hours like that's just never been something i like to do so um i don't want to like have you know have to go to my my morning job then go to my my evening job and be gone away from my kids for three days out of a week fuck out of here i'm not doing it so um i told her like i don't want to work like you know back to back like that why did she schedule me i mind you i worked the the morning job from nine to one why did she schedule me from three to nine on two of those three days girl what this is supposed to be a part-time job for me like 20 hour, 15 20 hours a week type thing like i don't want to be here any longer if, if y'all not paying me like my work i i like the like perks of being there like the discount and like you know who don't want to just be in a makeup store like you feel me that part was great but i just feel like th they not paying people what they are worth to be honest because i'm very knowledgeable in makeup i also have a license in the state of ohio if there's no way you about to sit there and play me and pay me nickels and dimes no and then not even on that um i just feel like um uh, it's stuff that's like part time to do like if you got something else going on or if you just don't want to work that many hours because you have like other obligations it's cool it's like a cool little you feel me as long as the management everybody's on the same page and it's organized it could be a cool place to work but for me it just was not for me and yeah i i dipped up out of there and i i'm bad because like when i leave jobs i just be like bye like i just don't even i don't say nothing and i and i need to start communicating and just stop like feeling like oh i'm in trouble like oh my god like bitch i'm not in trouble what is y'all gonna do with me like i'm already quitting i just need to be able to say that you know what i'm saying without feeling like so awkward like oh my god oh my god like girl what is wrong with me i don't know i literally just leave and i try to avoid the awkwardness like y'all have seen people leave before but they be like calling me blowing me up i'd be like am i really that good of a worker because i don't think so 
I mean, I show up and I do what I'm supposed to do, but I don't go above and beyond for no job because, baby, why? Why would I do that? And this is exactly why this YouTube shit better work out because I know if any of these jobs that I'm that I'm trying to work or they're going to be like, girl, we is not hiring you. We heard you saying that you ain't going above and beyond. <laughs> so I don't got no choice, okay? This shit got to work. It gotta work, cause if it don't, then what the what am I gonna be doing? I ain't gonna be able to get no job after they see this video. So y'all better like, comment, subscribe, all of that. <laughs> y'all better look out for me, and I'm gonna look out for y'all, cause baby, I ain't gonna have no job, okay? But no, for real, on a serious note, like y'all know these companies, they be trying to play us. They always be trying to play us. They try to ask for us to get them, basically sign our life away to them and then they don't want to pay us they don't want to you know what i'm saying give us nothing like when i hear people that have really good like jobs and they you know what i'm saying they have really good perks they jobs appreciate them that is amazing but yeah my grandma just called me so i'm about to call her right back and i'm gonna call y'all right back